Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So already I have completed the first main problem on journal entries in the last video. So currently the topic going on is recording the transactions in journal. The topic is journal and ledger. So already so many videos I have prepared regarding the meaning of the term journal, how to journalize, how to make the ledger accounts. All these things I have explained in the previous video. And already uh, some videos I have prepared for passing the journal entries also. Nearly 14 short problems I have completed in the last video. And one main problem I have completed. Now I am continuing the second main problem on journal entries. Remember journal entries is the first step in accounting. So a student of accounting must be very much clear regarding this foundation, the basic of recording the transactions in the books of accounts. So how to pass the journal entry, which account should be debited, which account should be created, this every student must be completely aware. So last videos I've explained you in detail. If you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject financial accounting one. Select the topic journal and ledger. Watch the first second video. Definitely you will get a lot of interest in this topic. Now I'm starting the second problem. But before starting the second problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I've given in the link under my description. So go to the description. Last line you'll find the link. Take a printout and keep it ready. Now second problem I'm ready out. Transactions of Achillesh. For April 2013 are given below, journalize them, means we have to pass the journal entry. So data is given for the month of April 2003, right, one by one. So first of all, we have to draw the journal, Achillesh, journal entry, date, particulars, ledger, for your debit, credit, all these things I have explained in the previous videos. So first 2013, April 1st, the first transaction given in the problem is, Achilles started business with cash. Achilles is the owner, proprietor. He is starting his business by introducing cash of rupees 2 lakh. By rupees 2 lakh. So from the business point of view, cash is coming in. When cash comes in, cash should be debited. Cash should be debited. So cash account data 2 lakh. Who is the giver? Achilles, owner. When the owner invests the money in the business, it is called capital. So cash account data to capital 2 lakh rupees. Narration I am not writing. Till last problem I have written the narration. In examination and every time whenever you pass the general entry you must give the narration. If I give, goes on giving the narration it will take more space more time. That's why I am not writing the narration but I am explaining. I am reading out. I am dictating. So better you make a note of it while uh, watching this video. Take a notebook and record the narration what I am telling. So here first cash account data to capital. Being the business started with cash. Second, next to transaction. April 3, paid into bank. Paid into bank means deposited cash into bank. Cash is going out. So cash should be created. Who is the receiver? Bank is the receiver. So entry will be bank account data to cash. So here you can see bank account debtors 1,75,000 to cash 1,75,000. Narration being the cash deposited in bank. Next to transaction fourth. Bought goods for cash. Bought means purchased. Purchased goods for cash. The goods are coming in. Cash is going out. The purchases account data to cash. Purchases account data 25,000 to cash 25,000 being the goods purchased for cash. Next 7th, 7th April, drew cash from bank for office use. Drew cash from bank for office use. So cash is coming in. Cash is coming in. So cash should be debited. Who is the giver? Banker is the giver so, to bank. So cash account data to bank 10,000. Being the cash withdrawn from bank for office use. Next, eighth. Bought goods from Kiran on credit. Bought means purchases. We debit purchases. So purchases account data. Now see whether it is a cash purchase or credit purchase. It's a credit purchase. From whom we have purchased? From Kiran. So purchases account data to Kiran account. 
the purchases account data to Kiran account for 42,000 being the goods purchased from Kiran on credit 15 received from Krishna 20,800 allowed him discount to 200 we have received the cash from Krishna 20,800 and we have allowed him a discount of rupees 200 first of all what we are getting cash so cash is coming in cash should be debited so cash account data 20,800 <coughs> we are allowing discount discount allowed is a loss and all losses should be debited losses should be debited so discount allowed account data 200 so it's a compound entry in one entry itself we are recording two transactions one cash received 20,800 and discount allowed 200 to who is the giver from whom we are receiving we are receiving the amount from Krishna so actually how much we have to receive 21,000 actually we have to receive 21,000 out of 21,000 we have received only 20,800 and we have allowed a discount of 20 the entry will be cash account data 20,800 discount allowed account data 200 to Krishna 21,000 his account should be created by the gross amount 21,000 being the cash received and discount allowed next 19th paid to Kiran 41,700 and discount received 300 paid to Kiran so we have to pay so how much amount we are paying 41,700 how much discount we are receiving 300 rupees so actually we have to pay 42,000 41,700 plus 300 42,000 we have to pay to Kiran we have to pay to Kiran so entry will be Kiran account data 42,000 to cash how much cash we are paying 41,700 cash we are paying how much discount we are receiving 300 to discount received 300 discount received is an income and all incomes will be credited the discount received is created by 300 being the cash paid and discount received that's all next 25th bought goods for cash purchased goods for cash the purchases account data to cash being the goods purchased for cash next 28 paid rent rent is an expense all expenses will be debited the rent account data to cash cash is going out cash is going out so cash account is created the rent account data to cash being the rent paid last one paid salaries by check salary is an expense the so salary will be debited salary account data two are we paying cash or check we are issuing a check so to bank the so salary account data to bank being the salaries paid through check that's all these are the journal entries in the books of Achillesh. So second problem completed. Now I am moving on to the third problem. Problem number three. Journalize the following. 2013 January 2nd. So here journal entries, date particulars, LF, debit, credit. 2013 January 2nd. So what is the transaction? Purchased goods for cash. Purchased goods for cash. Cash is going out. So cash should be created. Purchased goods. So purchase should be debited. So purchases account data to cash. Being the goods purchased for cash. Take them out. 5000. Next. 4th January. Sold goods for cash. We have sold the goods. Goods are going out. And what we are getting? We are receiving cash. Cash is coming in. So cash should be debited. Cash account data to sales. Cash account data to sales being the goods sold for cash. Next, fifth, purchased goods from Ajay. Purchased goods from Ajay. It is a credit purchase because name of the party is given. We have purchased the goods. So purchases account should be debited. Who is the giver from whom we are purchasing from Ajay? So Ajay's account should be created. So entry will be purchases account data to Ajay. Purchases account data to Ajay account 2000. So after 5th, 8th, sold goods to Deepak. Sold goods to Deepak. It's a 
क्रेडिट सेल इट्स ए क्रेडिट सेल तो दीपक इज द रिसीवर डेबिट द रिसीवर दीपक अकाउंट डेट आर टू सेल्स वेन एवर सेल्स आर डन सेल्स शुड बी क्रेडिट तो सेल्स शुड बी क्रेडिट इफ कैश सेल्स आर देर कैश अकाउंट डेट आर टू सेल्स इफ क्रेडिट सेल्स इज देर पार्टी कस्टमर अकाउंट डेट आर टू सेल्स हियर कस्टमर इज दीपक तो दीपक अकाउंट डेट आर टू सेल्स being the goods sold on credit next ninth cash paid to ajay cash paid to ajay cash is going out cash should be credited who is the receiver ajay is the receiver to so, ajay account debit to cash being the cash paid to ajay next tenth received check received cash from deepak received cash to so, cash is coming in to so, cash should be debited who is the giver deepak is the giver to so, cash account debit to deepak being cash received from deepak next 13 sold goods to ram for cash when for cash is given we are not concerned with ram if cash is not given then it is a credit transaction we should take into consideration the name but here for cash is given so we are not concerned with the name of the customer so goods sold to ram for cash that means cash is coming in so cash account debtor cash ko debit karenge cash account debtor to sales so here cash account debtor to sales 13th being the goods sold for cash 14th purchased goods from gopal for cash again for cash is given so we are not concerned with the name of the person we are not person with we are not concerned with gopal purchased goods for cash cash is going out so cash should be credited purchases should be debited purchases account debit are to cash purchases account debit are to cash being the goods purchased for cash 17th paid rent paid rent rent is an expense तो रेंट अकाउंट डेट आर टू कैश रेंट अकाउंट डेट आर टू कैश बींग रेंट पेड नेक्स्ट नाइनटीन रिसीव्ड इंटरेस्ट तो यर इंटरेस्ट इज एन इनकम रिसीव्ड इंटरेस्ट मींस इंटरेस्ट इज एन इनकम तो इंटरेस्ट अकाउंट शुड बी क्रेडिटेड व्हाट वी आर गेटिंग कैश कैश शुड बी डेबिटेड तो एंट्री विल बी कैश अकाउंट डेट आर टू इंटरेस्ट बींग द इंटरेस्ट रिसीव्ड नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी सेकेंड रिसीव्ड कमीशन again commission is an income because we are receiving commission so commission should be credited what we are getting we are getting cash so cash account debtor to commission because we are receiving the cash for what we are receiving the cash commission so cash account debtor to commission being the commission received next 24th goods returned to ajay goods returned to ajay so ajay is the receiver तो अजय अकाउंट शुड बी डेबिटेड अजय अकाउंट डेटा टू परचेज रिटर्न बिकॉज अर्लियर वी हैव परचेज द गुड्स फ्रॉम अजय अर्लियर वी हैव परचेज द गुड्स फ्रॉम अजय नाउ वी आर रिटर्निंग सम गुड्स बैक टू अजय तो अजय अकाउंट डेटा टू परचेज रिटर्न सो अजय अकाउंट डेटा टू परचेज रिटर्न बींग द गुड्स रिटर्न टू अजय ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ goods returned by deepak goods returned by deepak deepak has returned goods to us it's a sales return earlier we have sold the goods to deepak earlier we have sold the goods to deepak now deepak is returning some goods back so deepak is the giver deepak should be credited entry will be sales return account data or to deepak account sales return account data to deepak account being the goods returned by deepak 29th purchased furniture from usha and company it's a credit purchase because name is given but purchased furniture remember if goods are purchased we debit purchases if goods are purchased we debit purchases if furniture is purchased furniture is an asset so first of all you should distinguish between asset and goods goods means those commodities those things 
in which the business deals. The business will purchase the goods in order to sell the goods. In order to sell the goods. Example, cloth business. The businessman is purchasing the cloth and selling the cloth. The cloth are goods. Suppose if the same businessman has purchased furniture for using the business, not for sale. He is purchasing the furniture for the purpose of using it in the business. It is an asset. It's an asset. So when asset is purchased, debit asset, don't debit purchases. Don't debit purchases. Here furniture purchase, the furniture is an asset. So debit furniture. Furniture account data to Usha and company. From whom we have purchased? Who is the supplier? Usha and company. So furniture account data to Usha and company being the furniture purchased on credit. Next one, last and final, paid salary. Salary is an expense. So salary account data to cash. Salary account data to cash. Being salary paid, being cash paid for salary. That's it. Or So three problems completed. Now see the fourth problem. Pass the journal entries. Pass the journal entries 2013 January 1st. So you see here, fourth problem journal entries, debt particulars, LF, debit, credit. Now, 2013 January 1st, Mr. Narendra commenced business with cash. Narendra is the owner, proprietor. He is starting the business by investing rupees 1 lakh. So cash is coming in, debit cash, cash account data to capital. Already previous problem I told you. Cash account data to capital. When owner invests money in the business, it is called capital. Being the business started with cash. Being the business started with cash. Second, opened bank account by depositing 50,000. That means 50,000 rupees are deposited in the bank. Cash is going out. So cash account is credited. Who is the receiver? Banker. So bank account data to cash being the cash deposited in bank next third purchased furniture by check purchased machinery sorry purchased machinery by check machinery is an asset machinery is an asset so asset is coming in so debit the asset machinery account data to bank because we are issuing check machinery account data to bank being the machinery purchased and issued a check. Next, machinery installation expenses paid in cash. In the previous video also I told you, whenever an asset is purchased, the incidental expenses will be added to asset account. So machine is purchased, then installation expenses paid on machinery will be debited to machinery only. So here, 5,000 rupees are paid for installation of machinery. So machinery account data to cash. Machinery account data to cash. Being the installation expenses paid on machinery. Next one. Goods purchased from Jane. It is a credit purchase. So whenever goods are purchased, purchases account will be debited. Who is the supplier? Jane. So purchases account data to J being the goods purchased on credit. Cash sales. Meaning of cash sales, goods are sold for cash. Goods are sold for cash. Cash is coming in. So cash account data to sales. Cash account data to sales being the goods sold for cash. Then goods withdrawn by Narendra. Narendra has taken some goods from the business for personal use. When the owner withdraws cash or goods, it is called drawings. It is called drawings. If he withdraws cash, drawings account data to cash. If he withdraws goods from the business for personal use, drawings account data to purchases account. Drawings account data to purchases account. So here he has withdrawn the goods. So drawings account data to purchases being the goods taken by the owner for personal use. Sales to Nathan. Sales to Nathan. That means credit sales. The business has sold the goods to a person called Nathan. The Nathan account data to sales. 
Nathan account debtor to sales 3000 being the goods sold on credit next one received 2900 from Nathan after allowing discount actually we have sold the goods to Nathan for 3000 we have to receive the amount from Nathan 3000 but we are receiving only 2900 and allowing him discount so how much discount we are allowing 100 rupees 3000 minus 2900 100 rupees we are allowing discount to Nathan so how much cash we are receiving 2900 so cash account data 2900 how much discount we are allowing 100 rupees so discount allowed account data 100 to Nathan how much actually Nathan has to pay 3000 to Nathan account 3000 being the cash received and discount allowed cash received and discount allowed last one is salary paid to the manager mr mohan paid by check what we are paying salary we are paying we are not concerned to whom we are paying the person's name we can write in narration but in journal entry we should not take the name of the person to whom, what we are paying we are paying salary salary is an expense so salary account should be debited salary account at all are we paying cash or check we are issuing check so to bank so entry will be salary account data to bank in narration you can write being the salary paid to the manager mr mohan by check that's it so these are the entries we have completed problem number four so three uh, second third fourth these three problems so far we have done in this video come on now i am starting problem number five fifth problem already four problems you have completed Generalize the following transaction in the books of Rohit. Rohit is the owner of the business. So we are given the transaction from January 1st to January 10th. See, only journal entries we have to pass. The books of Rohit, the journal entries, date, particulars, LM, debit, credit. The first, January 1st, Rohit commenced business with rupees 1 lakh. Rohit started the business with rupees 1 lakh. So from the business point of view, 1 lakh rupees is coming. So cash account data to capital. When the owner invests the money in the business, it is called capital. So cash account data to capital, 1 lakh. Narration, being the owner started, being Rohit started the business with cash. Next, second, deposited into bank. That means the cash is deposited into bank. Cash is going out. So cash is credited. Who is the receiver? Banker is the receiver. So bank account data to cash. Bank account data to cash. Being cash deposited in bank. Next to transaction. Purchased machinery payment made by check. Machinery purchased. So machinery is coming in. Debit machinery. And payment is made by check. So bank. Machinery account data to bank. Machinery account data to bank. Being machinery purchased and check issued. Next, received commission from Sarath. We are not concerned with the name of the person because we have received it. When we receive, cash is coming in. So debit cash, cash account data to commission account. So commission is an income. All incomes will be credited. So cash account data to commission. Being commission, received. Next, fifth one. Paid salary to Arun. We are not concerned with the person to whom the salary is paid. What we are paying, we have to see. We are paying salary. Salary is an expense. And all expenses must be debited. So salary account data to cash. Cash is going out. So salary account data to cash. In narration, you can write being the salary paid to Arun. Then paid rent to Abhishek. We are not concerned with the person. Rent is paid. Rent is also an expense, just like salary. Just like salary, rent is also an expense. So debit the rent. Rent account data to cash. Just like salary account data to cash, similar way, rent account data to cash, being rent paid. Then sold goods on credit. When we sell the goods on credit, we debit the customer. Here, name of the customer is not given. So entry will be customers account data to sales 
when goods are sold sales account is credited so customers account data to sales being the goods sold on credit then purchased goods from nithin purchased goods so purchases account data to nithin account it is a credit purchase because name of the person is given the name of the person from whom we purchased is given so purchases account data to nithin purchase account data to nithin being goods purchased from nithin next goods returned to nithin first we have purchased the goods from nithin we pass the entry purchases to nithin now some goods are returned back it is called purchase return it is called purchase return the purchase return will be credited purchases always will be debited purchase return will be credited so entry will be nithin account data to purchase return being the goods returned back to nithin or being the purchase returns to nithin 1005 goods returned from data data means customer the customer has returned back the goods it is called sales return earlier we have sold the goods to customer now customer has returned back it is called sales return the entry for sales return sales return account data to customer account here data is given so sales return account data to data this is the entry for sales return that's it so these are the general entries for problem number 5 now i am reading out problem number 6 transactions of ravi for april 2013 are given below journalize them so transaction 2013 april transactions are given ravi the owner of the business is ravi the so books of ravi general entries date particulars lf debit credit first one ravi started business with cash so cash is coming in cash account data to capital every problem we are having this entry the business is started so cash is coming in cash account data to capital being the business started with cash second paid into sbi state bank of india SBI stands for State Bank of India. So simply we call it as bank. Paid into bank, deposited into bank. So cash is going out. Cash is going out. Cash should be credited. Cash should be credited. Who is receiving? Bank. So bank account data to cash. Bank account data to cash. Being cash deposited in bank. Next third, bought goods for cash. Purchased goods for cash. So purchases account data to cash. Cash is going out. So purchases account data to cash, being the goods purchased for cash. Next one drew cash from bank for office use. Cash is withdrawn from bank for office use. So cash is coming in. So we debit cash. Cash account data to who is the giver? Banker. So cash account data to bank. being the cash withdrawn from bank for office use next one sold to krishna goods on credit goods are sold to krishna on credit to so sales to so sales account will be created who is the receiver krishna krishna account data to sales krishna account data to sales being the goods sold on credit Next one bought from Sham goods on credit. Bought means purchased. Purchased goods from Sham on credit. When we purchase, purchase account will be debited, and the party account will be credited. So purchases account data to Sham, being the goods purchased from Sham. Then received from Krishna one thousand nine hundred. Allowed him discount hundred rupees. Actually, two thousand rupees we have to receive from Krishna. Two thousand rupees we have to receive from Krishna because there is a transaction on fifth of April. On fifth of April, sold to Krishna goods on credit two thousand. So on fifth date, our business has sold two thousand rupees worth of goods to Krishna. Now we have to receive two thousand. But instead of two thousand, Krishna is paying one thousand nine hundred. we are getting only 1900 and we are allowing 100 rupees discount we are allowing discount 100 rupees so how much cash is received 1900 cash is received so entry cash account data 
how much discount we are allowing 100 rupees so discount allowed account data 200 so who is the giver krishna is the giver so to krishna total amount how much 2000 so when we sell the goods to krishna here you can see krishna account data to sales krishna account was debited by 2000 when we sell the goods and krishna account is credited by 2000 his account is closed now nothing is due from Krishna. Actually, we have to get 2000, but instead of getting 2000, we are getting only 1900. Remaining 100 rupees, we are allowing discount. So entry cash account data 1900, discount allowed account data 100 to Krishna 2000. Being cash received and discount allowed. Being cash received and discount allowed. Next one, cash sales. Cash sales means goods sold for cash. Goods sold for cash. Cash is coming in. So cash account data to sales. Cash account data to sales. Being cash sales or being goods sold for cash. Paid rent. Paid rent. Cash is going out. Cash should be created. For what we are paying cash? For rent. So rent account data to cash. Being rent paid. Similarly paid salaries. Just like rent paid, now we pay salaries. Salaries account data to cash. Being salaries paid. That's it. So this is the end of problem number 6. Now, 7th problem. Generalize the following transaction November 2013 November. So here general entries 2013 November first date particulars LF debit credit. Manohar commenced business with 1,50,000. Manohar is the owner. He started the business by investing 1,50,000. So cash comes in, cash account data, 1,50,000 to capital. When the owner invests the money in the business, it is called capital. So cash account data to capital, 1,50,000. Being the business commenced with cash. Purchased machinery. Purchased machinery. So machinery is coming in. Debit machinery. Machinery is coming in. So machinery account data. What is going out? Cash is going out. So machinery account data to cash. Machinery account data to cash 40,000. Being the machinery purchased. Next second. Purchase furniture from Godrich company. Furniture is purchased. So furniture account is debited. So who is the giver? Godrich company is the giver. So Godrich company should be credited. It's a credit purchase. It's a credit purchase. So furniture account data to Godrich company. Being the furniture purchased from Godrich company. Purchased goods. Purchases account data to cash. Being the goods purchased. Then goods purchased from Krishna Mohan. It's a credit purchase. First one only purchased goods are given. So it's a cash purchase. Now purchased goods from Krishna Mohan. Name of the person is given. So it is a credit purchase. So purchases account data to Krishna Mohan. See the difference between these two entries. This is the cash purchases. This is the credit purchase. In cash purchase, we write down to cash. In credit purchase, we write the name of the party to Krishna Mohan. Being the goods purchased on credit. Sold goods for cash. Means cash is coming in. So cash account data to sales. Sold goods for cash. Being the goods sold for cash. Then stationary, purchased stationary. Stationary is an expense. So stationary should be debited. All expenses should be debited. Stationary account data to cash. Stationary account data to cash. Being amount paid for stationary. Cash deposited in bank. So cash is going out. So cash is credited. Who is the receiver? Banker. So bank account data to cash. Bank account data to cash. Being cash deposited in bank. Issued check to Godrich company 14,950. 14,950. Actually, we have purchased furniture from Godrich company 15,000. See here, you can see here. Furniture account debtor 15,000 to Godrich company 15,000. So actually, we have to pay 15,000 rupees to Godrich company. But instead of 15,000, we are paying 14,950. That means Godrich company has allowed us a discount of 50 rupees we are getting a discount of 50 rupees from Godrej company so entry will be Godrej company account data 15,000 
to bank because we are issuing check to bank 14,950 to discount received 50. We are paying 15,000 in settlement by issuing a check of only 14,950 and 50 rupees discount received being check issued and discount received goods withdrawn for personal use when the owner withdraws the goods from personal use it is called drawings it is called drawings so entry will be drawings account data to purchases account if he withdraws goods if the owner has taken the goods purchases account should be credited cash withdrawn from bank when cash is withdrawn from bank cash is coming in so debit cash account data to bank 6000 being the cash withdrawn from bank last one paid salaries paid salary salary is an expense debit salaries account data to cash 3200 being salaries paid that's all so this is the end of problem number seven totally seven problems seven main problems apart from 14 short problems I have completed on this topic of journal entries recording the transactions in the journal ha huh. so if you are if you are satisfied with my lecture give a like to the video share my channel in your group in your friend circle so that more students can watch the video give your comments on these videos and lastly don't forget to subscribe my channel we'll continue the next problem in the next video